We continue our discussion on deep learning toolkit. In this talk, we focus on another tensor operations library called EinOps. There are still some tensor operations that EinSum cannot do. For example, it is not easy to arbitrarily transpose and fuse axes at the same time. It is also difficult to perform resizing of tensors like upsize or downsize. For this tensor operations, we use EinOps. EinOps stands for Einstein operations. It has a good paper, open source code, and documentation. Listing here is the published paper, which I encourage you to read. Let us take a look at a typical problem in deep learning model architecture. In object recognition, convolution is used to extract features which will eventually be the input features of an MLP that is used for classification. In this example, we have 2D convolution with output size C out, H out, W out. C is channel. H is height and W is width. We also have here an MLP layer that requires input size of H in, where H is height. If the output of the convolution is going to be the input of the MLP, they must have the same dimensions. This is not the case for this example. It is like we cannot force a cube to fit on a long, flat rectangle. To match, we reshape the output of the 2D convolution such that its shape is exactly the same as the input to the MLP. In this case, that would be the product of C out, H out, and W out. This is exactly equal to H in. Note that when designing the neural network, we have the flexibility to indicate the MLP layer input size. The process is like flattening a cube to make it a long rectangular shape. Now, the two shapes are exactly the same. The output of the convolution can now be the input to the MLP layer. There are other tensor operations that may not be straightforward to implement in PyTorch or NumPy, or we may have to remember different names and syntax for each of them. Operations such as resizing, stacking, splitting, viewing, and permuting are common in deep learning. For example, in Vision Transformer, an input image is split into a sequence of patches that serves as input to a linear projector. This table shows the different tensor operations and the respective function names in NumPy or PyTorch. For NumPy or PyTorch, we have to remember all these names and syntax. Meanwhile, for EinOps, these functions are replaced by three functions, namely rearrange, repeat, and reduce. Sometimes multiple operations in torch like view plus permute can be replaced by a single call to rearrange. Let us demonstrate how to reshape an input feature, which is an image, represented by a 3D tensor 224 by 224 by 3 into 1D tensor. This can be done by rearrange. Let us examine the syntax of EinOps. The input tensor is a variable IMG. Input shape is height, width, and channel. This is typical in RGB images loaded using IMRID. In our example, this is 224 by 224 by 3. Other variable names can be used. In this case, the names remind us of height, width, and channel of image tensor. The arrow says convert 
this into output shape, which is a product of height, width, and channel. The product operation is represented by the green parentheses. We use color coding to illustrate the operation and variable names. We can get the same results in NumPy by calling reshape. In this case, we use negative one, 1D shape. NumPy figures out the correct size. For conciseness, in the succeeding slides, we will just focus our examples on Einhoff's functions. Let us solve the problem of converting an image into patches. In this example, we split an image into two by two patches or four patches. The left notation says, factorize the height as two times something. Do the same for the width. The right side says, compose a new array of images with length two by two or four. Each element is an image with new height and width from the factorization process. We illustrate the four patches in this slide. We can also replace the variables P1 and P2 by its constant value two. This will be done in some of our examples. The next example is more challenging. In this case, we have two images, an image of a dog and an image of a cat. We want to synthesize new images such that each image is a mix of input images. For example, in the first new image, the upper half is a dog while the lower half is a cat. This type of image synthesis is done in data augmentation, a regularization technique to improve model generalization. Let us do this step by step. First, load the two images and store them in a 1D array of images. Then create a 2D array of images by breaking each image into lower and upper half. Afterward, we reverse the order of the lower half images by using slicing. To do this, we slice the 2D array first into lower half array and upper half array. Then we reverse the order of the lower half using slicing. The last step fuses the two arrays using NumPy concatenate. Next, we fuse the upper and lower half. The new synthesized images are shown. They look weird, but this technique actually improves model performance. For the first image, instead of having label of one for the dog probability, it is now reduced to 0 0.5. All in all, we use two calls to rearrange and one call to NumPy concatenate. In NumPy, we show that we can convert an RGB to grayscale by simply taking the mean of the RGB components. The same algorithm can be done using reduce. In this example, we reduce or make the channel axis disappear by taking the mean of its components and then reducing the dimension by one. In NumPy, upsampling is done by repeat. In EinOps, we also use repeat. In this example, we double the height and width of the image. In NumPy, 
Reducing the size of an image is not straightforward. In INOPS, this can be done easily using reduce. In this case, we scale down the image by two. Thank you for listening. In the next part, we will have code demo. The details of code examples can be found in GitHub. INOPS is a linear algebra library that supplements INSOM. It provides functions for rearranging or reshaping, repeating, and reducing tensors of arbitrary shape. The first thing that you should do before you use INOPS is to install it via pip. And then import the required packages, including those that we will use for showing the images and also we will import NumPy. The first exercise that we will do is tensor reshaping. In this case, we will reshape an image tensor into 1D. The first thing that we will do is to read the image from the file system. In this case, it's actually an image of a dog. And then after that, we will reshape using rearrange. The reshape target shape is actually 1D. Let's run this code. That is the dog and the resulting image shape. The next exercise that we're going to do is to convert an image into patches. This task is commonly done in vision transformers. In this exercise, we will first load the image again. And then we will call rearrange. In the call to rearrange, it will split the image into two by two patches. Let us execute the code. This is the original image, and these are the image patches. In the next example, we will mix two images into a single image as done in data augmentation. Let us first visualize the two images, an image of a dog and an image of a cat. This code will load the two images and display them. This is the image of the dog and this is the image of the cat. The algorithm of mixing two images to form one image is actually complicated. So we will do it step by step. First, let us put together the two images into a single tensor. And then let's display the two images. These are the two images when combined into a single tensor. This is done by using NT array. Next, we will arrange the 1D array of images as a 2D array of images. Each column is made of two parts of the original image. This is done by using rearrange. Let's execute this code. This will be the resulting to the array of upper half and lower half of images. Next, we will reverse the order of the second row. This is done by using slicing and NumPy concatenate. Let's execute the code. This is the result when the lower half is reversed. The last step is we fuse the upper and lower half. After this, we now have the new synthesized images. Let us execute this code. 
and these are the target images. The next examples are much simpler. The first one is RGB to grayscale. Let us load an image first from the file system and show it. We have done this before. Then we convert it to grayscale using INOPS reduce. Actually, we have done the same thing before with MP min in NumPy. The next example is image upsampling. Let us double the size of the image using the function repeat. Let's execute this code. And we can see that the image size has doubled. Take note that the order of repeat arguments matters. Let us reverse, for example, the order from H2 to 2H and from W2 to 2W. This is not actually image upsampling, but simply a repetition across the rows and columns. The last example is image downsampling. We can reduce the image size by calling the INOPS reduce. This is not straightforward to do in NumPy. And this is the result of image downsizing. 